today i'm back with the next video and today i'm going to talk about the ps5 media remote so before i get into the video make sure to like comment share and subscribe to this channel if you like my content make sure to like the video if you like the video and share with a friend who you think might like the video so with that said let's get right into the video so the ps5 media remote it is a media remote as it's the name suggested and you guys might be wondering why would you need a media remote so try to use try to use the ps5 to watch like videos or to watch like netflix or all those stuff try to use the controller itself with one hand say you're laying in bed try to use it with one hand and you see how inconvenient that is to use a gaming controller with one hand because when you're sleeping you don't want to you do, there's no way you're gonna want to hold that controller with two hands and pause netflix or skip to a part in netflix or select a show or all those stuff it's gonna be frustrating after a while so that's where a media remote comes in and you see xbox always have a media remote um and playstation always have a media remote so this new media remote is for the ps5 and it is white and it looks really nice and futuristic and the design is simple because as you know it is a media remote and it comes in at 30 dollars so you would have to spend a 30 dollar extra on top of the on top of the brand new controller so when you buy the console you're not gonna get it with the media media arm remote so you would have to buy the media remote for 30 dollars extra so let's talk about the media remote so setting up the media remote is pretty straightforward it is powered by a pair of AA batteries and there's an option in the ps5 system to pair a remote once you select select it you will just have to hold down two buttons for a few seconds to complete the pairing from there you're ready to go so one nice thing about the robot is that it design which pays off the ps5 itself the remote as i said it is mostly white with a band of shiny black around the middle sort of like a oreo you get what i'm saying <laughs> and it is small and it is light and it's comfortable that is what you want in a media remote because when you're watching either disney plus netflix youtube or listening to spotify you're more than likely in a relaxing mood so you don't want something heavy and hard to use or not comfortable in your hands you just want something to hold in one hand and just literally press pause play fast forward next skip previous you get what i'm saying or to a quick button to go on youtube or a quick button to go on netflix or disney plus and so on so in terms of button there is there are ones for controlling the volume the tv power video playback as well as a directional pad with selected buttons on navigation you also get the playstation home button which behave the same as how it does on the dual sense bringing up a quick menu of useful actions at the bottom of the screen as well assigned to launch you can assign it to launch um disney plus netflix youtube and spotify up skin quickly quickly um go to you when you use the dual sense and you assign them you can quickly go to those apps um so it is said that there is a microphone that is built in on the con or not the controller on the media remote but we haven't heard anything i don't think it is be able to like use as yet i don't think you are able to use it but in the future you will definitely be able to use that microphone on the remote so here it is so you can use the the microphone is there but you can't really use it as yet but i'm pretty sure that you'll be able to use it soon so here it is there is also a button that doesn't have use yet the microphone so sony says it will reverse it is reserved for the future use so i'm guessing there will be some sort of voice controller voice assistant for sony to use 
um on the controller not the controller the media remote so that is pretty interested um i can't wait to see um how they're gonna use that microphone in the controller and is it worth the 30 dollars um i haven't got one as yet i don't know if i will be getting one but i believe if you are looking to like watch a lot of netflix a lot of youtube um disney plus prime and all those stuff a lot of streaming service if you're looking to just watch mostly videos on your on your ps5 then you will definitely want to get one of this um i know on the xbox up on your phone you can use it as a controller i'm not sure about the ps playstations if you can use your phone as a controller um as a media remote i mean but I know on the Xbox you can do that, but it is not really you can you cannot really do that much on your phone as a media controller. But that is pretty much what I have to say for this video, guys. Let me know what are your thoughts. Will you be getting this? Um, what what do you get? Did you get it? Um, do you like it? What features do you like? It is it is is it convenient? Is it worth it? Or should you just stick to the controller and just use the controller as your um your media remote which i think is pretty annoying because if you're laying on your side and you want to skip or turn up the volume then you have to go through a lot you have to play with the joystick uh it might the joystick might not be accurate like you go up and it goes up up if you get what i'm saying you guys should be getting what i'm saying but that's pretty much it as i said it is 30 dollars extra if you're buying the ps5 so you need to spend 30 dollars extra to get this controller the media remote and as i said it comes in white and i have a little black around the edges and the design looks very futuristic because you don't see that much buttons everything is just pretty straightforward i don't see any button on there that you will say oh i'm not i will not be able to i will not gonna use this button like every button is there for a reason it's not like those old tvs with one million buttons that you're not gonna use you're just gonna use the digits and all those stuff so this is very convenient and i can see where a lot of people are gonna use this especially if you're buying this for a living room or you're buying this for your kids a lot of people will be using this remote to help them out so as i said this is not really a hands-on review i'm just reading the specs and reading this from a verge article and talking about how it works how do you pair it and all those stuff so hope you find this video useful let me know in the comment section thank you guys for watching until my next video guys i'll see you guys when i see you guys if you reach this far you definitely like my content so consider subscribing thank you guys for watching until my next video guys i'll see you guys when i see you guys peace